Uh, final one for you? Yeah, the final story I've got is from the mail. Um, it says high speed due should be scrapped as it is a waste of money, says former Chancellor Alistair Darling. And that focuses on the government's uh, project on infrastructure connecting the north to the south, costing around 52 billion. What is in the south to the north? Uh, I think you might give it the other way. <laughs> south to the north, north to the south. Uh, and, and he's saying, look, this is a, uh, a waste of money and we should review that. Uh, some civil servants have come out and said, look, do you know what? We said this before. We advised the previous uh, government in which George Osborne took the lead on this, uh, but this was a political decision. What do I make of it? Well, look, do you know what? Down in Kent, we have high speed one, yeah. um, and that's led to huge regeneration and investment and businesses and opportunities. Um, but but also there, wasn't, there wasn't an equivalent, was there? Because we had to, we had to beef up our, or renew our railway to link up with, with France. Here, we're talking about building a railway parallel to an existing railway. There's HS2. HS3, I think there's a, a stronger case for that because you are connecting northern towns that were once connected but aren't anymore. I, I think you're right. In terms of connectivity, um, a lot of money to spend at a time when we're still, you know, people with a public sector pay cap, for example. Well, look, I think, I think some would say having this connectivity would lead to more jobs, more opportunities. But I do know members of parliament in some of those areas who say this is not the right thing to do. So I think there's a debate to be had. Okay. Yeah, no, I think this is, this is a tough one. The reason I say it's a tough one, um, firstly, I'd agree with everyone. It's what is normal. It's something which I think yeah. is, um, appeals to different people in well, different ways. The second point is this. If we are going to say body imaging and have a look at anorexia, and then at the same time, if you're going to be fair and equal, then you then have to look at the issue of uh, plus-size models as well. How does that affect the public perception yeah. as well? In France and Italy, they've gone the other way. They've made rules to say that you have to be within your BMI to be a model. So, um, top and bottom. For the top and bottom. Uh, but then some would say, well, you might not be within your BMI, but you still may be healthy. And then yeah. some say you have yeah. to then be healthy to be a model. Yeah. And then how do you then address that? So I would say, like you said, the chicken and egg scenario, there is no right or wrong answer. But I think what you do have to uh, say is if you are going to have an issue and say, look, imaging with anorexia uh, then is a health issue, then at the same time, you know, plus size and the health consequences that may come with that, then you have to look at it in a fair way. Although it's really worth thinking about that. Yeah. There are loads of very thin models and very few shot yeah. size. Yeah. So that notion of reflecting who we are, I can see that a, a young girl with, with a bit of weight not seeing herself reflected anywhere yeah. is going to really impact negatively uh, on the head. But at the end of the day, it's individual choice. Oh, okay. you're happy within yourself? Well and be it. Okay. <laughs> you know about oh, this. Look, you know, I think I'm at a disadvantage. You know, not married, single, no kids. So I think these were great. What about you? I mean, but you were a child uh, once upon a time. Yeah, I, I, I know Jake can read small but I like to think that that not all Tories are like it. <laughs> you did have a child or two. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Thumb sucking uh, dummies. Yeah, I, no, I don't think it was dummies. I think it's thumb sucking. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> I think I, I'd agree with some, what some people would say is, look, it's if you want uh, instant satisfaction, uh, and in today's society we live in instant gratification, you give into it straight away. But I think the advantage of that is then you may have problems a bit later on. Yeah. So I would say better discipline early on and uh, better self-restraint I think will pay dividends long term. And that would be my approach to it. But I, look, I don't think there is a right or wrong answer on this. No.